Okay, here we have the Bacal Grizzly Scooter. I'm about three miles in, some rocky, hilly terrain. It's functioned way better than I thought. Quiet, no chain, electric. It's got plenty of juice. I'm still at 100%, and uh, I went three miles already. It's a great option. Anybody who's thinking about something, especially as we get older, to pack your gear in, you can put your tree stand on it, lash it in real tight with bungees, you can get a bow holder, bring your bow in, and you can quietly get way back in. And I have to say, a lot of people say game changer. This is a game changer. The reason I went for no pedals and scooter is because a lot of the hills here, even with pedaling, I wouldn't be able to keep my balance while pedaling. So a scooter, you could just stick one leg out and hop up the hill or even hop off and walk with power assist. And it basically carries your gear up the hill and pulls you up the hill. Very stable. Actually, it's easier than walking. So anybody that's on the fence or hasn't even thought about it, this is something you may think about. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it helps somebody. Stick around to the end and I'll go over some of the repairs I had to make after this grueling test. Okay, I have it on the first speed. Really not much torque. But it does make it. Okay, this is a spot that even a four-wheeler or ATV couldn't get over. I've never been here before. I'm going to try to go over this baby. The whole purpose of this trek into the woods on this hot 90 degree July day was to hang a trail camera and what normally takes me about an hour to get in only took me 20 minutes today using the scooter. A meadow of high weeds was no problem, with no chains, pedals, or sprockets to get tangled up with weeds and high grass. It also performed extremely well in rocky, rugged terrain. Unless you expect it to be a dirt bike or ATV, you'll be extremely pleased. This is a long grade. It's going to be a, a nice test for if I can make it up. Okay, pretty much eating it up.
I'll go over a few things that happened on my first ride and we'll caution you to bring a toolkit with you if you get one of these or I guess any type of uh, bike or mountain bike or e-bike. The front tire, the bolt got a little loose so I felt it shaking. It didn't come off but one of the bolts got a little loose. When I was dragging this over some logs, these zip ties must have gotten loose that hold the controller to the motor. So I had to re-zip tie that. Okay, the rack, these screws loosened up, these Allen bolts, and it started to rattle a little bit. And that's about it. So that's the things that happened in two days of pretty hard riding. Oh, and the kickstand too. Okay, the kickstand bolts unscrewed. So. I just cinched them up and we're back in business. Okay, if I could give you some advice, carry a little toolkit with the applicable, you know, wrenches and Allen bolts and also some uh, flat tire stuff, things to fix a tire if you do get a puncture. So other than that, the thing is a dream, really nothing major. Really enjoying this scooter. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you Anybody that's interested in it, feel free to leave me a comment or ask me a question. I'll be happy to answer it, but I highly recommend this scooter and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.